Imagine a world where you can control technology rather than just use it. In 2025, learning to code isn't just an option, it's your gateway to innovation and staying ahead of the curve. Let me show you why coding might just be the most valuable skill you can acquire today. By the way, I'm Pete and I'm working with some of the biggest names in the tech and fintech area. My passion is helping others become software engineers and land their first or their tenth job. Now I have a special gift waiting for you by the end of this video, a free beginner's coding toolkit that you can download to kickstart your coding journey right away. Alright, let's cut to the chase. Technology is reshaping every aspect of our lives and coding is at the heart of this transformation. But why you should consider learning to code in 2025? Firstly, let's talk about job opportunities. The demand for tech professionals is skyrocketing and coding skills open doors to a wide range of lucrative careers. Whether you're interested in web development, data science, cybersecurity, or even AI and machine learning, knowing how to code can be your ticket to some of the fastest growing industries. AI is becoming increasingly integrated into our daily lives and businesses, but it's important to remember that only a small percentage of companies are currently leveraging AI. Do you know what that means? This means there's a vast landscape of opportunity for those who are skilled in coding. As AI continues to evolve, it won't replace coders. Instead, it will augment our capabilities, allowing us to work more efficiently and creatively. Moreover, coding complements other professions too. Imagine being a doctor who can automate tedious tasks, a marketeer who can analyze big data, or an entrepreneur who can create their own software solutions. The possibilities are truly endless. Additionally, AI startups and AI consulting are booming. Many businesses are using low-code and no-code tools to develop their initial products. However, these tools often require further development by skilled coders to scale and meet the demands of their growing user base. So do you know what that means? This is where your coding skills come into play, allowing you to turn innovative ideas into fully functional and scalable solutions. Furthermore, coding empowers you to be a creator rather than just a consumer of technology. You can bring your ideas to life, build your own apps, websites, and tools, and solve problems that matter to you. In essence, learning to code in 2025 isn't just about keeping up with technology, it's about shaping your own future. It's about staying relevant, competitive, and prepared for whatever digital world throws your way. Learning to code offers a plethora of benefits that extend beyond just career opportunities. Let's explore some of the key advantages. Enhances problem solving and logical thinking. Coding challenges you to think critically and solve complex problems. It trains your brain to break down tasks into smaller manageable parts and find efficient solutions. These skills are valuable not only in tech, but in everyday life as well. It provides a competitive edge. In an increasingly digital world, coding skills can set you apart from the competition. Whether you're applying for a job or looking to advance in your current role, being able to code can give you a significant advantage. Personal development. Learning to code can be incredibly fulfilling. It allows you to bring your ideas to life, from building your own applications and websites to automating repetitive tasks. Take my own experience as an example. I used to struggle with remembering home chores and tasks and let's be honest, forgetting this can lead to some serious injuries by your wife. I tried everything. Google reminders, Notion, making Siri reminders my best friend, and even writing things on a whiteboard right at the entrance of my house. I'm telling you, nothing worked. So I decided to create my own app that would remind me in a way that perfectly fit my daily routine and send me reminders the best way possible depending on how my day was going. This simple app took me just a couple of weeks to build and for the past five years, it has saved me from countless slipper on the head moments. This sense of achievement not only boosted my confidence, but also inspired me to tackle new challenges head on. Versatility in various fields. Coding isn't just for software developers. It's a versatile skill that can benefit professionals in many fields. For example, data analysts, scientists, engineers, artists, and even healthcare professionals can leverage coding to enhance their work. Future-proofing your career. As technology continues to evolve, coding skills will become increasingly valuable. By learning to code, you're not just keeping up with current trends, you're preparing yourself for future opportunities and ensuring your skills remain relevant. In essence, coding opens up a world of possibilities. It equips you with the tools to innovate, create, and thrive in a digital age. So whether you're looking to boost your career, develop personally, or simply learn something new, 
Coding is a skill worth investing in. Potential challenges. While learning to code offers many benefits, it's also important to be aware of the challenges you might face. Here are some common hurdles and how to overcome them. Time and effort required. Learning to code takes time and dedication. It's not something you can master overnight. Be prepared to invest hours in practice, study, and hands-on projects. As every other skill in this world, the key is consistency. Set aside regular time for coding and stick to it. Overcoming the learning curve. Coding can be challenging, especially for beginners. There will be moments of frustration where things won't work as expected. Remember, every coder faces this. Preservance is crucial. Don't be afraid to seek help from online communities, forums, or mentors. By the way, now it's a great opportunity to promote my Discord channel. Keeping up with technology. The tech world is always evolving. New programming languages, frameworks, and tools are constantly emerging. While this might seem overwhelming, it also means there are always new opportunities to learn and grow. So stay curious and keep updating your skills, finding the right resources. There are countless resources available for learning to code, which can be both a blessing and a curse. It's essential to find high quality materials that suit your learning style. Online courses, coding bootcamps, and open source projects are great places to start. Staying motivated. Maintaining motivation can be tough, especially when progress seems slow. Set achievable goals and celebrate small victories along the way. Joining a coding community can also provide support and encouragement. Learning to code is a journey. It's about embracing challenges, celebrating progress, and continuously pushing your limits. With some dedication and the right mindset, you can overcome any obstacle and become proficient in coding. That's why being a coder is an advantage and not just a profession. Resources for learning to code. Starting your coding journey might seem overwhelming, but there are so many resources out there to help you. If you like structured learning, you might want to check out some online courses. Platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and EDX offer great courses that you can follow at your own pace. But if you're looking for something more immersive, Zero to Mastery can get you job ready in just a few months. Link to all these websites down below. But hey, if you're on a budget, don't worry. There are plenty of free resources available too. Websites like FreeCodeCam and Codecademy offer interactive tutorials that can help you get started without spending a dime. Also, consider looking into your local community colleges where they often have affordable coding classes that are a great way to build solid foundation. Now, if you prefer hands-on learning, why not contribute to some open source projects? Platforms like GitHub are full of real-world projects that you can work on. It's a fantastic way to gain experience and collaborate with other developers. And don't forget about the power of community. Joining coding communities like Stack Overflow, Reddit, and various Discord servers like Developit's Coding Party can provide invaluable support, motivation, and networking opportunities. And as I mentioned in this video, networking is like a cheat code in your job hunt. You will find that sharing your journey with others make the whole process a lot more enjoyable and rewarding. In a nutshell, whether you're looking for a paid course or free tutorials, there are tons of resources out there to help you on your coding journey. Just find what works best for you and dive in. Woof, we covered a lot today about learning to code in 2025. So let's summarize and give you the gift I promised in the beginning. Learning to code offers so many benefits, from opening up exciting job opportunities and complementing other professions, to empowering you to create your own projects. It's a skill that enhances your problem-solving abilities, keeps you competitive, and helps you stay relevant in a constantly evolving tech landscape. Yes, it takes time and effort to learn, and there will be challenges along the way, but with so many resources available, from online courses and coding bootcamps to free tutorials and supportive communities, there's never been a better time to start your coding journey. So, should you learn how to code in 2025? Absolutely. Whether you're looking to boost your career, explore new fields, or simply develop a valuable skill, coding is worth the investment. And as I promised, here's a special treat for you. A free beginner's coding toolkit. This toolkit includes the best resources, a step-by-step -step project guide, motivation tips, and a list of coding communities to join. You can download it for free by registering to my newsletter using the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech insights and tips. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you're already on your coding journey. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.